when you have a piecewise function, continuity and checking for continuity becomes a bit interesting. So let's check this out. Let's consider some piecewise function f of x is equal to x squared minus 3 when x is less than 2 and 2x minus 3 when x is greater than or equal to 2. Now x squared minus 3 it's a polynomial that's continuous everywhere. 2x minus 3 is also going to be continuous everywhere. So the only point that we need to check is really what's what I call the Frankenstein point because you can think of a piecewise function as Frankenstein. We are taking a bunch of functions and we're sewing them together and the point that we sew them at is x equals 2 in this particular case. So let's check what's called the Frankenstein point, the point where we kind of put these two continuous functions together because something weird might be going on at that point. So to check for continuity we need the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x to equal f of 2. Well first let's check our limit. The limit only exists when the left hand limit is equal to the right hand limit. So let's check our left hand limit. The limit as x approaches 2 from the left hand side, well if we approach 2 from the left hand side we want x to be less than 2. We're using x squared minus 3. This is the function that we're writing to the left of 2. So here we have x squared minus 3. And of course step 1 of taking limits is just plug it in. 2 squared is 4 minus 3 is 1. Boom. Alright. Let's check to the right hand side of x equals 2. So let's check as x approaches 2 from the right hand side. From the right hand side we want x to be bigger than 2 we're writing our bottom function because that's when x is bigger than 2. So we're going to check out 2x minus 3. As we approach 2 from the right hand side of 2x minus 3, we can use our steps to take limits. Step 1, plug it in. 2 times 2 is 4, minus 3 is 1. So the limit exists and is 1. Well, let's check the function value at x equals 2. Which function are we using at x equals 2? Well, the one that says x is greater than or equal to 2. At x equals 2, we're using our bottom function, 2x minus 3. And if we were to plug 2 into 2x minus 3, we get 4 minus 3 is 1. So our limit is 1, the function value is 1, and therefore this function is continuous everywhere, including x equals 2. Let's check another one. Here we have a left hand side where x is less than 3. We have something going on at x equals 3 and we have something happening from the right hand side of x equals 3. So let's first check our limit. We know that x squared minus 6x is continuous everywhere, 0 is continuous everywhere, and 5x plus 3 is continuous everywhere. So now it comes down to checking our Frankenstein point which in this case is 3. So let's take the limit as x approaches 3 from the left hand side of f of x. Well if we're approaching 3 from the left hand side we want to come from the negative side of 3 from the left of 3. That means that we're going to be using our top function. So here we have x squared minus 6x. Step 1 of finding limits plug it in. 3 squared is 9 minus 6 times 3 is 18, 9 minus 18 is negative 9. Alright, well the limit from the left hand side is negative 9. Let's check the limit from the right hand side. As we approach from the right hand side we're going from when x is bigger than 3. So we'll use our bottom function. The limit as x approaches 3 from the right hand side we're using 5x plus 3. Well 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. Uh-oh, the limit doesn't exist. Furthermore, at x equals 3, our function value is 0. Well, just the fact that our limit doesn't exist means that this is not continuous at x equals 3. So, this is not continuous at x equals 3.
Let's take a look at one more. Here we have two Frankenstein points, one at x equals 1 and one at x equals 3. To the left of 1, we're using x minus 1. From 1 to 3, we're using 3x minus 3, and to the right of 3, we're using negative 4x plus 2. So let's break this apart. Let's check first our first Frankenstein point, x equals 1. Because all three of these functions by themselves are continuous. So we'll check the Frankenstein point to see when we put them together if anything weird happens. So the limit as x approaches 1 from the left hand side, from the left hand side of 1 we're using the function x minus 1. Step 1 of finding limits, plug it in. You get 0. Let's take the limit as x approaches 1 from the right hand side. From the right hand side we're writing along the function 3x minus 3. When you plug 1 into here, we have 3 minus 3 gives you 0. Therefore, the limit exists at x equals 1 and is 0. Now let's check f of 1. f of 1, well when x is equal to 1, we're using our middle function. If you plug 1 into here, you get 0. So the limit is equal to the function value and therefore f is continuous at x equals 1. Now let's check our other Frankenstein point, x equals 3. So we'll take the limit as x approaches 3 from the left hand side. When we approach 3 from the left hand side we're using our middle function, 3x minus 3. Here, 3 times 3 is 9, minus 3 is 6. From the right hand side of 3, we're writing along our bottom function, negative 4x plus 2. When you plug 3 into negative 4x plus 2, you get negative 12 plus 2 is negative 10. Right off the bat, our limit does not exist. And because the limit doesn't exist, our function is therefore not continuous at x equals 3. So, our function is continuous at x equals 1, but it is not continuous at x equals 3.